Hey guys, uh, this next tool I'm going to show you real quick is the plugins tool. Kind of a big deal. Uh, in its base format, well, okay, plugins are additional tools that can be added to ATAC to give you enhanced features, right? If you just download ATAC by itself, ATAC Civ off of the Google Play Store, there are no additional plugins that come with it. Uh, to get additional plugins, you're going to go to the Google. Whoa. You will go to the Google Play Store, look up ATAC, look up this, go to the TAC Product Center, and these are all the ATAC additional plugins that are available to you on the Google Play Store. Uh, there are a bunch of plugins available on TAC.gov, if you know how to go on there. Um, yeah, I'm not going to show you how to do that. Do an example with uh, Tech Chat. So I'm going to install it. Tech Chat effectively makes it so that uh, you can do like the contact style text messages, but everything gets logged onto a server and uh, just exists a little bit longer. So if I go to ATAC, it asks, Would I like to install the plugin? Sure. If I refresh it real quick. Cool, now you can see that Tech Chat is a plugin that I have and that it's loaded, meaning that it actually works. So if I scroll to the bottom of my toolbox, that's where your plugins, if they're enabled, will be. So Tech Chat is down here. If I click on it, I can mess with Tech Chat. I'm not going to do that now, but that's plugins, if they're turned on, are at the bottom. To turn a plugin on or off, go to your plugins tool. And here you can unload a plugin, which means that it is, isn't actually running. Like your phone doesn't have the tech chat process running. Um, if you want to delete and uninstall a plugin, you do it here. Truthfully, when I use ATAC, there's a few plugins that I do like to use, but I have them not loaded. And this helps ATAC because there's just less memory being used and this program is a little bit more stable. It'll actually help my battery life. And then when I decide to use that plugin, I will open up the plugin tool and enable that plugin and use it when I need it. And then when I'm done using it, go back to the plugin tool and turn it off. Sure. Uh, I'm going to real quick as well cover the link EUD tool. This is fairly new and kind of neat. If you click on this. Effectively, you need to have a tech.gov account. If you know what that is, awesome. If you do not know what that is, sorry. Um, but if you go on tech.gov and you enter in this uh, password or what is it, this code, you your phone, your EUD is now associated with your tech.gov account. And when you go to your plugins tool, it will automatically populate all the plugins that are available on tech.gov. Pretty cool stuff. I actually just found out about that.